Fleischmitz, who's the NCAA draft analyst. I miss you, Mike. Yes. Bill, Bill thought that he knew you from somewhere, and I kept telling him it was from ESPN. He, he, he wasn't going to admit it, but we're here, Mike. And so let's talk about Anthony Edwards. Everybody wants to know about him and the chances of him going number one overall. I think there's a good chance. You know, he's at a very early stage in his development. He's one of the youngest prospects in the draft, so it was a late bloomer. Uh, didn't play a lot of high-level high school games from a smaller school, so it's going to take him some time, but he's exactly what you want. In Mike, NBA. how do you do your job? I travel all over the world, all uh, the time, most of the time. Yes. International, are you married? International. I have a very caring, understanding girlfriend of six years. So okay. she, no she children? No children. Okay, no where, are you, where are you from? I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. Nice. Do you, do you ever see Kevin or Bobby Hurley or Steve Nash? Yeah, or any of the oh, guys yeah. down there? Oh, yeah. Hey, Fantastic. Mike. Hey, Mike, just ignore him. Let's get <laughs> back to Anthony Edwards because people are like, no offense to you, they want to know more about Anthony Edwards yeah. than they do about uh, your uh, history. But look, tell us about what the chances are like what teams do you think would uh, be a good fit for Anthony Edwards and his style of playing what position is he going to play at the next level because in Tom Crean's system everybody has the letter P next to their name there's no yeah. positions on the roster no guard centers for just P so they're basketball players what a unique or B, guys, I said B sorry I said P well that's kind of where the game has evolved right it's guys who can play multiple positions positionless basketball and I think he's a combo guard in today's game he can play on it he can play off it I think teams look at the success Donovan Mitchell has had a guy like that yep. who can fit next to a Mike Conley or Donovan can also Mitchell's take really over good. right yeah. great player and uh, similar measurements you know he's 6'5 225 almost a 7 foot wingspan um, so I see a guy who can score at all three levels eventually is going to be able to you know get others involved and then defend multiple positions Mike what's your winning percentage my winning percentage yes. also oh, so you fill out your bracket after after the always after, do it after after the draft yes I don't okay, feel yeah. well, I don't do well with defeat so okay. I just kind of take my W okay here. you just you like Danny on the golf course <laughs> exactly okay exactly so what about Weissman yeah, there's a lot to like about James as Am well. Am I pronouncing his name correctly? James Wiseman, yes. Wiseman. Like Wiseman. The wise he's man. a wise man. He's a very okay, wise man. So we got one of those here at this table. Yes. You're, you, Do you love you. Maui? I love Maui. Would you like to I hold my son? I would like the, the rest no, of the No, you can ask later. Okay. Mike, okay. how about Cassius Winston? <laughs> what, uh, what do you think the chances are for, for Cassius to find a, a roster? He's a guy that teams are going to want to have on their team. You know, you look at the success of guys like four-year guys like Fred Van Vliet, sure. uh, who are tough, gritty, and can make a shot, strong fit for the game. And win championships. And win championships, you know. Like, nowadays, it's not so much about the young, sexy guy who has all this upside. You know, you see a Grant Williams or a Brandon Clark and guys who can step right in and help you right away. And I think Cassius is a guy who's eventually going to find his way in a How much time, Mike, do you spend with the player personnel directors on each NBA team? Yeah, I get to, I'm on the road with them quite a bit, so I get to know them, uh, you know, whether it's Maui or whether it's in Europe. Um, I, I've been doing more in, in Africa as well, so traveling really all over the world trying to figure out who are the next young prospects we need to know. And do you go to the Basketball Without Borders games? Yes, I was in Senegal at the Africa Basketball Without Borders. Right. I usually go to the one in Europe, and then also... Did, did you go to India this year? I didn't go to India. I've right. never been. Either have I. Yeah, I'd love to get out there. It's close to here. How about Obi yeah. Toppin? Uh, he played great yesterday, 25 points. What do you think of him for the NBA? He looks like a lottery pick out here. You know, he's a late bloomer who's really turned the corner. Uh, he can shoot the three ball. He's energetic. He can catch a lob. He can block a shot. So he's really what you want in kind of a modern stretch four. And I look at him, and I see a late bloomer type that really is starting to fit in the NBA. Like, if, if you see all the guys having success in the league today, right, it's, it's Kawhi Leonard, it's Paul George, it's Giannis, it's Steph Curry, John Morant. Like, one of these guys with McDonald's All-Americans. And so I think Obi's another guy who's going to benefit from that. And he really fits well in today's game. How much stock, Mike, do you put in the guy's coach and the program and the culture that he comes up with? Hey, Anthony Grant's been phenomenal. And, and that guy's a tremendous coach. Yeah, yeah you can and tell. And the guy Mike coach. Young from, from Virginia Tech, what, what he did yesterday, that was fantastic. And I think Nolly, you know, he's the guy who helped himself yesterday as well. Yeah, we got a couple of Conference of Champions guys there, yeah. Nico Mannion yeah. and Jaden McDaniels. What do you think? Yeah, Nico is a, a top 10 sleeper, I think. Like, he, he could be the best point guard in this draft, potentially, uh, just because of his feel for the game. He's, he's got really red hair, too. And he's a Scottsdale kid, you know? Pinnacle High School, right. so um, you gotta like that. What about, what about Zeke, Zeke Najee? Yeah, Zeke has really helped himself. He looks like a you know potential first-round pick. High motor, uh, energetic, physical. There's a lot to like about him, also. What about the two new guys from USC? Uh, 
uh, Onyeka Okonwu. Correct. Yep, I think he's... I'm still working, working on the pronunciation. Yes. High energy guy, can block a shot, bounces, work on his body. Uh, he's got a lot of buzz. How about Mike here? You've thrown him, like, so many curveballs in the last <laughs> five minutes. And he's handled everyone flawlessly. I was trying. Mike, we appreciate the time, man. Thanks, Thanks so much. I always look forward to uh, seeing your board updated throughout the year. Thank you very much. How often do you update that board? Uh, every few weeks, you and know, do you, when sign, do you sign it? I mean, it's just like an oath. Of, are you under oath when you do it? Yes, yes. under oath every time. Good. Well, <laughs> how much basketball do you watch? Uh, it's pretty much nonstop. Do you pretty have, much do nonstop. You have any other interest in life? Uh, I like to eat. Besides, like to your, besides like to, your girlfriend? Yeah, I like to walk on the beach here in Maui. You know, nice. When the water. What's your favorite beach here? Oh, man, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Have you, have you been out on the canoe? I've never been on a canoe. Would you like to do the rest of the game with Bill? Uh, yes. I think we have a good chemistry here. Let's keep this going. Have you been on the Maui gym boat? I've never been on it. I've never had the invite. Do you have an invite? You have an open invitation. Okay. There we go. Ty Fagan for the basket. Mike, we appreciate that. Go do your job. Thank you, guys. Well, you go. Appreciate it. It. Where do you go from here? He's, he left. He's gone. He's, he's got to work. <laughs> the headset's <I> off. <laughs> all right. Six points to lead for Michigan State. They got all That's that. That's a traveling violation.